Finally, you guys, we are here at the St. Anthony Sand Dunes. First time out in 2020. Uh, it's about a week after opening day. Uh, the reason why we didn't go opening day was it was actually raining and snowing and blowing. And then the next good day, as all of you know, we took that out to give it a test drive and I wrecked it. I rolled it after shining it all up and everything. Stupid me, stupid move, I get it you guys. If you want to criticize me, put it in the comments, but it happens and my excuses are I had my boot on because I had broke my foot or, uh, a couple months ago, couldn't feel the throttle and then also I took it too wide. And so there's really no excuses other than I just did it. Today, I took my boot off so hopefully I can feel the throttle better. Anyways, a little bit of fender damage, a little bit of cage damage. Uh, broke a shock, that's what took so long to get it running again, but they uh, exit took care of it. They treated us well, got it coming to us really fast. So we got it back up and running. Um, sucks about all the scratches and stuff, but we're still gonna dress it up. Anyways, we're excited to get out. Caden has his uh, RS1 first time out on the sand dunes with that first time his first time ever owning a side-by-side -side. so I think he's really excited about it and then dad dad came along today and he's got a new machine as well the big Terex is that how you say it <laughs> Terex KRX 1000 the prescription KRX it's the prescription side-by-side <laughs> This thing's about as big as the Wildcat, the built Wildcat. This thing's huge. <clears throat> Got great hopes for this one. I'm gonna see what happens. We give her the first test drive on the Sandings today. Uh, we'll we'll put up a, uh, a real review video separate from this one on the KRX as well as on the RS1. But. Uh, yeah, Kawasaki's first go on a sport model, and we're kind of excited to see how it goes. Oh yeah, and RCs. I got my UDR, Caden has... Super Rock Ray. Heck yes. Even Dad has one. Let's see where it is. There it is. Look at that. The Arma Mojave. So the Arma and Mojave and my Traxxas UDR are very similar. We're going to see how well they work on the sand dunes. Hey, Caden, you excited about your side by side or your your Una your Una side? Yeah. Um. Well, I didn't think we were going to pack these until you guys were packing them. What? We're coming at the sand dunes. We're bring the trucks. Yeah, dude. Yeah, check this out, you guys. My dad quickly stuck. What the heck? I just broke my flag again. Piece of junk. Anyways, what I was going to say was because I rolled and smashed my other flags, we put a microfiber, a greasy microfiber on there. But that ain't going to work because I just broke it. That'll work to wipe off the oil. Stupid. I don't know if the curses are done with this thing yet. All right, so we just pulled the lights out of it, flung all the water or whatever's in there. Now we're gonna stick it back in. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully now we're ready to go. Double 
I'm sitting here talking to Caden, asking him how he likes his RS-1 over there. He's, he's flying his drone around and he's liking it. He says it's, it's different. He, we're sitting at the base of Choke Cherry and he says, yeah, I've never climbed Choke Cherry before. And I'm just like, what? We have been coming to the sand dunes our entire lives. I've been coming here since I was a little boy on four wheelers. And Caden said he's never even climbed choke on anything before. And so we're curious if uh, his RS-1 will climb out a choke today. It'll be his first time. <laughs> It'll be his first time. <laughs> One thing after another. Seriously, I don't, like Caden says, I don't think this thing wants to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 